Kimi Nagano on the lead vocals there. Hoken Vierenstrand was playing the keyboards. Frederick Wallen was playing the, uh, the bass on the keyboard. And Eric Bowden on the drums there, both real or live and, uh, and triggered, I suppose, <laughs> right? Yes, you are very right. Nice work, you guys. Thank you. I, you know, I, I want to talk about this album, but I, I, I want to first mention, uh, Yukimi, that the name, is, name of the band is actually named after you, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Y your <laughs> nickname is Little Dragon? Your name is Little Dragon? Uh, yeah, it used to be, but in Swedish. Lilla Draken. La Draken? Yeah. La, 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 I didn't say that right, did I? Say Lilla, yeah. Lilla Draken. L Lilla Draken. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, and why were you called Little Dragon? Um, well, uh, well, I sometimes got a little frustrated <laughs> in the studio and, uh, and, yeah. And you breathe fire? When exactly. You, yeah. Little flames. See, now I had heard about this, but you, your demeanor, you seem very, uh, in fact, watching you perform that song, you're almost spiritual. You're barefoot and you're doing this. You don't seem like someone who would be considered a dragon. No. Well, I mean... You That's know why I'm a little dragon. You know? <laughs> right, right, right. You're a minute. Yes, <laughs> you're ventilating now. Right. <laughs> er Eric, what what would happen in the studio when a little dragon would express oh, herself? Oh, extreme, uh, yeah, <laughs> tsunami. You know, it's like very extreme. I think everyone. Well, just to defend myself. <laughs> yeah. I think that might be I necessary. Think, I yeah. think all the guys sort of have the little dragon within themselves. Yeah, it's oh. true, you actually. Know, yeah. so. It's a common term. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. What was causing you so much tension in the studio? Um, well, I mean, we've been friends for a really long time and, uh, you know, we know each other really well. So as with any kind of close friends or family you have your moments <laughs> right, 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 right. so and but on this in a, on this record though your voice sounds uh calm assured uh but there, and there's a power uh, to your delivery as well i'm assuming that you've gotten past these in studio frustrations or maybe they help you achieve the sound <laughs> you want uh yeah i mean yeah, I think that basically we just we just spend so much time together, you know, on tour and at home in the studio, and uh, it's not always necessarily studio frustration. Just <laughs> <laughs> maybe that we've you know we're just around each other constantly. You're so. like family at this yeah, point, right? Yeah, definitely. You guys grew up. You met as teenagers in Gothenburg in Sweden. So yeah. tell me the story of this because you're, this is interesting. You you have a a California mother, a Japanese father, but you you were born in Gothenburg, right? In in Sweden. Yeah. And, and then the, the three boys, you're all from Gothenburg as well. So yeah. how, how did the band first, or how did you first start making music together? We all went to a kind of music high school. So that's where we went. We were from different parts of Gothenburg. And uh, we were lucky to find each other there. there and uh, then we, we moved in together, all of us, in the what's now the studio. So, uh, yeah, we definitely spent a lot of time together you went to a, mu <laughs> a music high school yeah it's like normal high school but with extra focus on music yeah yeah <laughs> see from age 16 we started that's yeah. why sweden's a cool country <laughs> <laughs> there's music high schools not that we don't have similar type things here but that's right. that's that's good to know and then no no cor correct me if i'm wrong but gothenburg sweden is known for its like death metal scene, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so, they so say. that's not exactly what you're playing. I mean, this is a, how did how did the electronica sound emerge? Um, well, I think that uh, I mean uh, all of the guys produce uh, the songs, and so everyone sort of has you know their computer and makes little skeletons of ideas. That so, and I think everyone's just been fascinated by electronic. Uh, sounds i mean electronic music but also just that there's so many i mean you can definitely experiment more maybe with noises and stuff than with maybe a guitar you can make it sound like a noise but still you know it's right i guess i don't know we just felt free with that and then but we still wanted to make songs not just like endless beats that never but this sound this isn't uh, you didn't come upon this sound right away you didn't find your voice as a group if you will immediately because i understand you were you were, you were interested in american r&b at first right yeah yeah I, yeah you go ahead yeah no i think that i think that we all had you know i mean since we've known each other for so long we've sort of gone through different phases i mean especially having met as teenagers you have your phases in different styles i mean we still like uh R&B music and different kinds of music but we're not as focused on making that kind of music we're just more making our own yeah I mean when we met you had 
first time I met you, you had red hair, Kimmy. Yeah, I was well, I was kind of a gothic <laughs> right. girl. <laughs> <laughs> you you weren't born with red hair. No. Right, right, right. <laughs> a lot of makeup <laughs> yeah. and black. So you, you were a goth. And yeah. then you and then American R and B and Well, then, yeah. Yeah, 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 this the the story is getting more interesting, <laughs> Little Dragon. Well, I listened to a lot of R and B kind of at home and then Eric was into sort of introduced me to a lot of uh, music that I hip hop and stuff, but um, I think that in when I was going in junior high, I was really into like goth and stuff. But I sort of secretly listened to some R and B stuff that I would I would like hide the CDs <laughs> when my friends came over and. <laughs> well, R and B uh, wasn't cool. Not really. Yeah, yeah. Not among my friends. Uh, and and is it a democracy or, or or how does it work if you're such uh, close close friends? Yeah, I mean we try. Yeah, a democracy isn't. A simple thing <laughs> to yeah, achieve no exactly <laughs> I mean, a lot of wills and it can be a little bit boring also if it's total democracy all the time it's better if somebody is leading and who is that know. person it's different different i would D say different yeah. people take the lead yeah yeah Depends on the day. i wish <laughs> i hope at least <laughs> let me uh, let's talk about this record uh machine dreams because uh it, it it's if it really it captures uh, me right away when I listen to this, and it's and uh, a lot of the songs are uh, are infectious. I would say they're that they, they, you want it, you can sing along to them as All soon right. as you you hear them. So there's a warmth in that, and yet in as in with a lot of electronic music, there's a coolness to the overall atmosphere of the sound, to, to what it seems to communicate. I don't want to say iciness sounds a little like extreme, but there's a coolness to it. Is that inherent in the music, or is that something that you strive for? I don't know. Maybe it's a slightly Swedish thing. I don't know. It could be. I mean, maybe if we lived in the Cari Caribbean, we would make something different. <laughs> maybe it would feel more. Choose different sounds on the on right. The synth. More prone to icy music <laughs> as a northern yeah. country. Yeah. Possibly. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, with the sounds. I mean, uh, the synths, they they are kind of cold. You know, they are dead in a way. But we don't really look at them as dead. Maybe, but they are not like a guitar. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. who can. Who definitely has more of a... There's a hand. detachment, right? Yeah, when yeah. you're using electronic instruments. There is, and th I think that's what is so nice with it. That's what captures us, I think, with the... You want to know, because there's so much things hidden under that little box, you know, like, that a synth is. A guitar is only a guitar. The synth can be so many things, <laughs> I would say. We're <laughs> kind of pro. <laughs> when, when, when you, when We're pro synth. You're not, there's not a lot of guitar players who are fans <laughs> of your band after this interview. Uh, when you talk about, when you say maybe it's because we're from Sweden, is there anything uh, musical in that? I mean, uh, there is sort of a cool danciness that can be heard in some of your Swedish musical peers. I'm thinking of Robin or Leaky Lee or, or The Knife. Uh, although when I asked Leaky Lee about the Swedish scene, she said, there's no Swedish scene. We don't, you know, that's, a, that's an image or, or a, a mirage or a fantasy that this idea that you guys are all collaborating, yeah. you're nodding. Right. There, is that true? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely true. Yeah, it's true. I mean, even in our city, there's like a lot of people of, you know, I like once we got an, a MySpace message of someone who was like, I have to come to Gothenburg and where is the scene? Right. And it's like, <laughs> right. there is right. no, we haven't seen it. You meet, know? meet at the park. Yeah. That's, that's where <laughs> yeah. we're at every day. Yeah, where the it, scene meets there. Uh, yeah. Exactly. But it's like you said also with the death metal that's that's something that we we never really see and it's super big there is a gothenburg sound and a, and a very and a very famous studio with a gothenburg sound and you never see them it's amazing. i didn't even i mean i didn't know until someone abroad told me so. right until you left gothenburg that <laughs> right. it's known for so it's for the nature who, who who makes us be inside and hide i think you know. you, th let me ask you about this collaboration with Gorillaz, who have just put out this fabulous new record. Uh, this is the virtual band featuring Blur lead singer Damon Albarn and, and Tank Girl creator Jamie Hewlett. They've been in this studio. Uh, on, on two of the tracks on their new album, you guys are involved. Uh, this is their record, Plastic Beach. How did that come about? Um, well, they their manager contacted our manager. <laughs> oh. Pretty standard. <laughs> There's we the romantic story. No, That's right. We didn't meet at the grocery store. <laughs> you know. Right. You didn't meet in the in the heart of the Brit the the Swedish scene. And how how was your experience with Gorillas? Yeah, we were in London for a couple of days, and uh, we were in their studio, and they played us a load of different um, music that they'd made or that he'd made, and. Um, yeah, it was really, it was really fun and ex inspiring, and um, we basically just sort of 
uh, were there and we're going to just see what we would come up with and uh, the guys jammed out on a few of their synths and they had a load of uh, um, amazing crazy instruments in their studio and um, wrote some lyrics and recorded it and, and you're playing with them uh, as well at Coachella yeah yeah uh, which is a big festival. That's, yeah, that's yeah, not a bad thing to be part excited. of. So, y- you know, let me ask you, it's interesting reading about you. Uh, I get I get the picture of, you tell me if this is right, the picture of four kids, teenagers, who just really love playing music and who came together and, yeah. uh, and loved the idea that you could actually make a living or live your life playing music with each other, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where, where does ambition come in? What would, what do you want to do with that? I mean, do you want to be, here you are, you're in Toronto, you're on a national show in Canada all it's of a sudden. Amazing. Do you want to be mega rock stars? Is that is that part of the shared dream? Yeah, I think so. I mean... <laughs> Hogan's fallen asleep. <laughs> so I'm not sure if he's... <laughs> Yeah. No, but I mean, I think it's so fun with with like all the different aspects of of being a band and playing music, and I mean, just like uh, you know, you meet so many other creative people, and you can like um, there's so many just from releasing the first album to think of artwork and to think of you know what if we like if we would grow as a band, maybe we would have a budget <laughs> to be able to you know have animations and what would that be like and it's just you can just expand your sort of um whole idea you of could being actually a pay, band. pay your dad to do yeah. the exactly. artwork <laughs> instead of getting your dad to do it free that's true right your dad did the yes. artwork i love that i love that about it and it's, a, and it's very engaging artwork but what's the little dragon dream well well i think i mean i definitely think we feel like we have a ambition and just um you know making because i mean I, if you listen to maybe like a lot of Swedish public radio and stuff, it's it's quite, I mean, not everything, obviously, but a lot of it is not so inspiring. So I think all of us sort of wanted to make music that inspired us and that mm. felt like it was adding something new. And it wasn't just, you know, um, produced or by, you know, some major label who had some right. major idea to make a lot of money and we wanted to make genuine music and you know we worked really hard for it and you know we tour like crazy and drive crazy <laughs> distances and so i mean there's definitely a, an um, ambition there and and slowly step by step we feel like it grows and so we put a lot of heart into it and and you know we're at the end of the day we're really amazed that people come out to you know like dance to our music and stuff so mm-hmm. well, it's such a pleasure to have you here in canada uh, <laughs> all the way from Goth- gothenburg so sweden you. and your english is much better than peter john bjorn <laughs> or peter bjorn and john <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so you know kudos i don't Great. know what that means they just uh, so uh, you know you're gonna play another song for us right yes so yeah. what are you gonna play this time uh, my step my step. All right. Uh, head on over there. Thank you. Little Dragon live in Studio Q. The new record is called Machine Dreams. This is Yukimi Nagano, Hoken Vierenstrand, Frederick Wallen, and Eric Bowden. And they're playing the song My Step from their new record, Little Dragon, live in Studio Q. Yeah. 